little guys are all hiding under rocks and things. Rocks and little crevices and this was graded four days ago and you can see the amount of toads that are here and we know there had to be this many as they were grading it. Probably in this little area there's hundreds and they're working this interface. Look up ahead. Look at them go. Wow. Now a big grader, what chance do these little toads have of that? And right now because we've got such cold nights, uh, we think these toads are just going up into the forest at night, coming out during the day. And this logging company, NACFOR, is grading this road to start logging some of their summer cut blocks. And uh, we feel this is going to be a catastrophe for all these what they call metamorphs or last year's toads. And this, we're in the middle of May now, and these are last year's toads. They have migrated roughly a kilometer from the lake. They're just starting to enter their terrestrial habitat. Uh, on Friday, we walked this road for two kilometers and we're finding toads all the way along this road. So they're moving well up into the forest and how are, are we gonna save mortalities when they start hauling logs, running in with contractor's equipment? Uh, you can hardly see these fellas when you're in a vehicle on the road. They're just tiny. So we're on alongside road 4200 into cut block 2011 and today is Wednesday May 25th and NAC4 has moved a feller buncher into this block so they're about to start logging and there's been toads we've got two days of documentation of toads all along this road in here so I would say we have toads fairly actively throughout this cut block. <laughs> 